Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade from Viral Release 1.1 to Viral Release 1.2. Start by logging into the User Workspace Manager web page. Here I'm using the default credentials UWM Admin and Password Password. From the menu on the left, select Viral Server and then Salt Configuration and Status. Here you'll want to confirm that you have a valid connection to the Viral Salt infrastructure before proceeding. Next, from the same menu, select System Upgrade. On the System Upgrades page, you'll see three different types of upgrades available. The first is a core upgrade that only upgrades Linux, the Viral Core, Auto Netkit, and VM Maestro. The second is a full upgrade that also includes any available Cisco, Linux container, or Docker images. The third is an advanced upgrade that includes Linux, the Viral Core, Auto Netkit, and VM Maestro, but also allows you to individually select from a list of all other packages, images, and containers. Here we're going to select a full upgrade. Next you need to enable maintenance mode, which can only be done if no other upgrade processes or viral simulations are running. Now you can begin the upgrade. Note that because the Linux distribution is included, the upgrade can take up to an hour or even longer depending on the available network bandwidth. Once the upgrade is started, you can monitor the progress of each step if you wish. When the upgrade is complete, you'll have to reboot the viral host. After the viral host reboots, return to the system upgrade page. Select Check Health Status to confirm that the various important Linux and viral elements are working properly. Note that if your proxy policies are especially strict, the proxy check may fail without affecting viral functionality. Return to the System Upgrade page and select System Operation Check. On this page, you can schedule a series of tests to validate the viral services, API, and simulation functionality. We're going to skip that here and return to the System Upgrade page. Select Continue and then Disable Maintenance Mode. Now you can complete the upgrade and observe the updated versions for each viral subsystem.